I'm at Etsy UK HQ where I'm helping to introduce their brand new sustainable summer collection which is hashtag SS collection um, and it's a really exciting collection of UK sellers who are all very talented and they all take a very sustainable approach to all of their products. But I've spotted beauty cubes, I'm very excited about that. The SS collection came about because we've seen kind of this huge increase in interest for sustainable and eco-friendly products. Between January and April this year, we've seen a 218% increase in searches for eco-friendly. So the Sustainable Summer Collection is made up of products from seven different Etsy sellers. There are things from plastic-free shampoo that are made into little cubes, children's wear made out of organic cotton, a leather bag maker who uses, reuses pieces of leather and uses vegetable dyes, candle makers. So there's various different kind of products. I make traditional cold processed soap using own plant-based ingredients. So I use essential oils, I use avocado oil, shea butter, coconut oil, all sorts of really good ingredients. My son was diagnosed with contact dermatitis and I was prescribed steroids when he was two weeks old. And I got home and I just went, I'm not doing this. I researched everything like in a compulsive kind of way and I just thought I'm going to just replace my cleaning products, I'm going to replace my washing powder, I'm going to replace soap, I'm going to replace everything with soap. And I did. And it was magic. It was absolutely magic. So I've cut out shampoos, we, we just use soap for everything. No plastic at all. I quit my day job, I make soap full time, I knit. Everyone loves a face cloth. And the support that we've got from people who are on Etsy to, to buy things, it's just, it's just been amazing. The feedback that I get, the reviews that I get um, from real people, and um, when I get a review, my whole day will change. If it's a good review, I'll actually like, just spend the rest of the day singing like Mary Poppins. It's the most amazing thing. My favorite one is um, probably the lavender, because uh, it's so relaxing. Uh, but the ginger candle is the favorite by people. It just won best candle of the year in the homework pit hours yesterday. I'm so excited. And I only use obviously essential oils. They are steam, they're alcohol free, so when you burn it, they're safe for you. Vegan Bunny started um, two years ago uh, when I was with my baby girl. And I said, okay, I'm gonna make a candle. But I didn't even know how many things are behind a candle that are bad for the baby. Got interested, and this was born. People around, I think they're changing, just like you said. People want to do things different. Like, we realize how bad we've been behaving, like with nature. So my customer introduced me to Plastic Free. I didn't even know about it. And they, they told me, okay, you stop using plastic. I started with a vegan, non-toxic, and then it, was, it just evolved naturally to something better. I'm really excited to be um, partnering with Etsy UK this evening for the launch of their SS collection, which stands for Sustainable Summer Collection. I've been living a zero waste lifestyle for the last five years, and I think it's been really exciting to see more and more people get interested in living plastic free. And I managed to find a reusable alternative for pretty much any disposable. I mean, if you look hard enough, there is a reusable alternative or a plastic free alternative to most things out there, and a lot of them are on Etsy, I will say that now. <laughs> and finally, I just want to say how awesome Etsy is. They are such a, a sustainable company. I was just hearing all about it, just geeking out behind the scenes, of all the amazing things that they do. And I think that they're a real brilliant example of how business can be done differently. So when we created this London Etsy office, every kind of aspect was really thought out. So from all our furniture, to how our plants are displayed, to how we um, recycle and compost, etc. So um, from the tables to our desks, they're all made from Etsy sellers um, and they all kind of work in different sustainable ways. Um, so the tables in our kitchen are made by a seller called Ted Wood. Um, he's based down in Sussex and he just creates absolutely stunning um, pieces of furniture. Etsy tried to educate its employers to recycle and to kind of use the landfill as little as possible. We have um, only 1% landfill at the moment and we weigh all our waste. 
we kind of think about sustainability and the way that our business grows and everything we do. So from the snacks that we have in our pantry, like everything's seriously like vetted. Etsy have supplied us with keep cups. All our food gets composted. We've made a promise that all our offices are zero waste by 2020. So we'll be utilising and resourcing all our energy with 100% renewable electricity by 2020, as well as zero waste. First of all, seasonal food is really important. It doesn't mean we can't enjoy our mangoes and avocados. It just means that we should focus on a seasonal local diet the majority of the time. For the dinner tonight, we've tried to think of every little detail. So um, instead of using cut flowers for our table decoration, we've used potted plants, succulents and cacti, um, which will all be put back in the ground or sold on afterwards, so we're not keeping them. And we've used um, soy candles from Etsy, um, and we've also, instead of using paper name places, used leaves instead from our office as well. Isabel, tell me about your amazing products. Well, these are sustainable ceramics. And I try and reclaim and recycle all the clay I use. So I buy it in powdered forms and then add water. Because when you buy it, it's actually just 80% water that you're traveling like across the world, which is ridiculous. I didn't know that. So these are all local clays, some that I dug myself. And then I mix them all up and I try and use non-toxic glazes. So yeah, I'm not hurting the ocean which is important to me. Hooray! Yeah. And they're so cute. Like, how did you come up with the design? Um, I think I just wanted to really enforce positivity and I want people to smile when they're having their morning cup of coffee. I instantly smiled the second I saw them. I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, thank you. How is it being an Etsy seller? I've only just started trying to do my shop, but it's a really nice community. They do events like this. They're obviously a company that cares about, you know, little makers and the environment, which is very much what I'm about. Anyone else just here that you've, like, got your eye on? Check them out. Um, this lady over here with these sustainable vegetable tan leathers. Yeah, they oh. look amazing and she seems like a really nice woman as well. I haven't met her yet. I'm yeah. Going to bother her in a minute. Definitely, I would. I've got my eye on this. I love Aww. it. I actually Thank lost you. my wallet recently as well, so I'm like, oh, this could make a nice replacement. Oh, no, you should have it. I should, yeah, I should totally make it. have it, right? <laughs> remnant leathers uh, so we'll get otherwise look chucked and discarded and then these three are vegetable tanned so they're tanned without any chemicals um, just with like barks or natural materials and it means eventually like years in the future it would be biodegradable that's like an organic denim um, so I'm planning to make more like organic fabric clothing and like I've got a jumpsuit in mind like dungarees nice. and like more jackets and stuff like that. I <laughs> love it, it's so nice. I find that Etsy is such a good platform to work on. Like, there's so much traffic and so many people look on Etsy looking for like sustainable and eco-friendly businesses. And customers as well are so lovely. You get messages like all the time by like, people asking about certain things or like after you've sold something to them, like people contact you back and go, thank you so much, I love it. And it's just really like, you know, just like a nice community. Wild Rose Flower Company was set up about 18 months ago. I fell in love with succulents about four years um, before that and had been working with them for ages. I just felt that it would be nice to be able to actually have this sent to somebody in the post that's not only just a short-term gift but also something that can actually sit on their windowsill in these little planters for maybe up to a year because they can live in here for up to a year. But then obviously they can plant them on into a nice ceramic or something else so they, they can keep these plants for years. So I do one-off um, quirky succulents as well in sort of recycled containers, chicken feeders, old ladles, wood plain, ceramics and vintage cups and saucers and make little gardens in those as well. That's what's so great about succulents, their shape is always so interesting. All my packaging is UK manufactured and also the little planters, um, these are in these little plastic inserts which are made from recycled material and it's recyclable. 